My name is Wei Xiong. I'm a physical chemist in UC San Diego. My research focuses on study ultrafast molecular dynamics. So I'm a chemist, but I more see myself as a molecular detective. As like any detective, we want to solve the case by studying different threats. Typically, we will focus on three different threats, where the molecule are, that is the spatial information, and then how the molecule would evolve as a function of time, which is the temporal information. And lastly, is how the molecule would interact with light, that is molecular energy information that encodes molecular structure. So being a molecular detective, we want to follow the molecule and molecular motion at their natural time scale their natural spatial scale. The natural time scale of a molecular motion is really fast. That is on the femtosecond level. There is no camera in the world actually can capture such a fast molecular motion. So when you don't have a fast camera, we can build a fast flashlight. The fast flashlight are the ultra fast lasers that we use. And then what we need to build is an optical Lego so that would allow us to manipulate those photons and then to control the light matter interaction. What we do are usually we take a bunch of mirrors, a bunch of lenses, and then arrange them in particular design and arrangement so that we can split the optical pulses and recombine them and combine their arrival time at the sample. We can also add other pieces such as a microscope so that would allow us to image those molecules at their own space. We will also add other elements such as a spectrometer that would give us the molecular energy information so that we can track the molecular dynamics in both time in space as well as in their own natural energy range. So after building all those awesome tools, we want to use them to study some different material. One of them I want to mention is collagen. So collagen is in really important and it's everywhere for our life. Using our spectroscopy and the microscopy, we can follow the collagen microscopic structure as well as its morphology so that we hopefully can differentiate healthy collagen and disease prone collagen. The other material or physical phenomenon that we are interested in are the charge transfer in solar cells. So charge transfer are the essential step in a solar cell. When photon excite the charge in the solar cells, if they don't separate, they will recombine with each other and the energy will become wasted. Therefore, we use spectroscopy to follow the exact charge transfer step and understand how molecular orientation would influence the charge transfer at interface. The other very exotic material, new material that we recently start to start are the so-called molecular pluriton. Molecular pluriton are hybridized particle between molecules and photons. So to form a pluriton, we need to take two reflective optics and put them in parallel with each other to form a cavity. Once the cavity is formed, it can trap the photon inside. And then if we inject some molecule inside, the cavity traps both photon and the molecules. When they are both trapped, there's nothing else that they can do other than interacting with each other, therefore hybridize with each other, forming the so-called polariton. Because polariton really force the molecule and photons to borrow their each other's property. There's a hope that there are some novel properties that would change the chemistry, for example, modify uh, molecular reaction reactivity, as well as use proton for quantum simulation and computing. So I like my research and uh, my interaction with my students because I think we are shaping the future. We are shaping the future not only in terms of the technology and the science that we're doing, we are also shaking the future for the next generation of scientists because my students, in order to do those research, they not only need to learn chemistry, they also need to master a lot of physics, optics, electrical engineering, and coding. So that prepare them to be ready and be the next generation leader in the scientific and technology field.